And Toledo, Ohio is where we find our Phil LeBeau, who has the latest on these negotiations. So what do we know now, Phil? Sarah, not a whole lot of movement. Uh, we do know that as we speak, representatives from Stellantis and the UAW are getting together. And you were talking about that economic impact. Keep in mind, the plants that are being hit by the UAW right now, they're not the most profitable plants it by the big three in the United States. They're important, but they're not the most profitable. Here's the strike impact. Remember, the plants that have been uh, hit so far in these strikes, you're talking about midsize SUVs, popular ones, as well as midsize pickup trucks, but they're not the most profitable. It's about 15% of the big three's U.S. production. The most profitable trucks or, or plants where they build full-size pickup trucks, those continue to operate. And there are some key issues. I know we're talking a lot about 40% versus 20 and 21%. Beyond hourly pay and whether the, uh, the raise ultimately ends up over four and a half years, the other things to keep in mind are wage tiers, cost of living adjustments, and restoring pensions, all of which the UAW wants. Speaking of the UAW, President Sean Fain talking earlier today on MSNBC about his frustration that this does not seem to be moving very quickly. It's a shame, again, the companies waited until the last week to start getting serious about talking about this. They wasted a lot of time. We told them up front, don't do that. We told them up front, we expect to deal with these things early and often, and they chose not to do that. So they chose to be in this position, and, and that's why we find ourselves where we are right now. One last thing is to take a look at shares of Ford. Ford negotiators will be sitting down with UAW representatives today as they continue their negotiations. But Ford also faces the prospect of a strike at its facilities north of the border up in Canada. Unifor's contract with Ford expires at midnight. Doesn't mean there's going to be a strike. They could extend the contract. They may continue negotiations. But there's a lot on the plate right now for Ford. And really, by the way, it's also for GM and Stellantis. Just Ford is the one going first up in Canada. Guys, back to you. Hey, Phil, it doesn't sound like the union is necessarily counting on the White House to make any kind of difference here. No, not at all. If you listen to that interview this morning that uh, Sean Fain did on Morning Joe, there is no reason to be optimistic that this is going to be resolved anytime soon. Seriously, I mean, there was nothing in there where it was like, yeah, we see a little bit of movement, things are improving. And all they said over the weekend was there was reasonable, pro uh, reasonably productive talks with Ford. That, that's not a ringing endorsement of we're moving towards an agreement here. So they are continuing to talk. That's the encouraging thing. But there's just no indication that they're making dramatic progress.